Hi, what's up guys? So this is Gamero. Uh, in this video, I'm going to do some tutorial for how to send a cloud messaging from Firebase to your iOS application. So quickly, let me show you what, I, what I'm doing here. So here I came to the Firebase on my project and here is some cloud messaging window. And here I created some notification title and a text message. So if I go to the send text message and then hit my token and test, here, test hello, test hello message, just successfully sent uh, from the Firebase to my application. So application I created right here. Today what I want to do is to explain uh, how this kind of implementation can be done very quick. So after you open up your new project or your, your current you know existing project, what I'm going to do is very simple. So here is a content view and here is application kind of main struct. So I want you to go to the my GitHub. Uh, I, I'm going to put the link down below. So here, uh, this is my repository and here is the iOS Firebase Cloud Messaging. So please go inside of the project and this one. This is basically the main struct. So here, Let's just copy and paste entirely this one without a main. And just please just import, uh, please just copy and paste right here. And for the main struct, you have a few lines missing. So this one only. Please just copy and paste like this. Of course, right here, uh, no such module Firebase, so you need to import the Firebase uh, dependencies. So I'm going to come back to you here. For the project, uh, please go to the Firebase and you create a project and whatever name your project. So to me, I, I'm already done in here, the cloud messaging. So in this case, I'm already assigned to an uh, app. So or you can go from this uh, icon and go to the project setting. Uh, down below, you have a two app. Uh, actually, you have no app if you are uh, creating a brand new Firebase project. However, I already assigned two apps. So in here, I'm going to remove this app. Okay, check everything and I, I successfully removed the app. So what I want to do is to add a new app, iOS, hit iOS. And here you need the Apple bundle ID. What is the Apple bundle ID? Apple bundle ID, you go here and go into sign-in capabilities. And here is my team. This is my personal uh, Apple developer account. And here is a com. Uh, this is called the bundle ID. So bundle ID is basically the unique ID. Uh, Com.camaro.messaging test too. So this is my bundle ID. So you put it here. And here you just leave it as a blank, it's okay. Resist that app. So again, here you need to download the Google service info.plist. So in the download folder, you will have the cloud uh, JSON file, basically the Google service info.plist. So what you need to do is to just uh, drag and drop this one inside of your project. So make sure the target this on top one is selected and click finish. Okay, so now you are good to go. So download config file is next and add Firebase, add Firebase SDK. So click this uh, GitHub repository and go back to file, add the package dependencies and place your GitHub link here and then go to the add package. So it's going to take a while, so you know, I'm going to wait a little bit. So you come across to this windows. So for now, all none is okay, so add package. So now you still have the no such module Firebase. So in this case, you go to the project root and general, go down and the framework library here, hit the plus button. And then you add a Firebase package. 
Although you don't need all, all this kind of stuff, but you can just include. Okay? And add a package. So I'm still waiting for the indexing the pro, uh, processing files. However, uh, it's already the package issue is gone. So this is all the setup that you need to do in your project. But from now, you need to do a little bit for the Firebase side, also in the Apple developer uh, settings. So go next, and just go next, and go back to the console. So now you see that your iOS app is successfully added to your, to your project. So now please go to the Apple developer account. And what you need to do is basically to create identifiers. So here it has few Apple IDs. However, let's add identifier. So Apple IDs, continue, app, not app clip. Select app, continue. You can put any description right here. And this one, the bundle ID to be this one. In here, make sure you add push notification. So please check this checkbox, push notifications. Continue. And register. Please make sure this uh, identifier is already created. So now you come back to the Firebase. So please go to your project overview and this one, project settings. In here, please go up, then go to this tab, cloud messaging. So what you will notice is you will see the Apple apps right here. And here, APN authentication key. So on configuration with OS key is recommended as they are the most current method for sending not notification to Apple services. So here, as you notice, here is a no APN OS key. So you need to upload the APN OS key to the Firebase. So how you get it? So, okay, so you come back to the Apple developer account. So you see the keys here. So I have several keys. However, you can add your key. So key name to be messaging test two, and description is optional. So this one, Apple push notification service APNs. Please check it. Configure. You can create a sandbox production. I usually go for the sandbox and production, and save. Continue, and register. Okay, there is a key ID, and so you can download a key. But just be careful, this is only one time that you can download this key. So please make sure you download this. So OS key is uh, downloaded like this, and then please hit done. So what I created here is this one, message in test two. It's created just right now. So what you need to do is click this one and there's a key ID. So you go back to the cloud messaging project settings. You have a, a APN OS key. First, upload the one you are just you just downloaded. Okay? And then enter key ID. So key ID is this one. And team ID so team id is actually not written in here so how to get oh actually this one so view membership okay so uh, so go to the membership detail here uh membership detail and team id is to me this one so copy and paste this now you can upload Okay, your APN authentication key is successfully registered. Go to the general, go do, go to the project root, hit general, and hit the project. Uh, no, sorry, this one target, signing and capabilities, 
hit the capabilities and push notification. So you come back to your project and then you target your physical device and then just build. So while waiting for the building, I'm gonna little bit explain the very necessary part, part for this code. So here is messaging uh, SDK uh, library is called and then here is uh, printing the FCM uh, registration token. So this is a Firebase Cloud Messaging Registration Token. It will be printed uh, in, the, in the log section once you run in the app. So you need this token basically. Where you need this token? So you go back to the Cloud Messaging. How to go back? Run section, Messaging. Now you try to create a new campaign. Okay, the build is done. So please go to the new campaign, hit notifications. Let's say test uh, new one, test new one text. So here you can have a notification image. So maybe go to lorem, lorem image. Maybe this one. Okay, just get a random image or you can just make it blank. So send test message. So as you notice, test on device, you need, uh, you need to add an FCM registration token. So this is something you will, you will notice. Okay, nice. Now I see the Firebase token here. Please copy and paste this. And send text message. Add token. Hit the plus mark. And then uh, make sure this checkbox is on. Test. Okay, test new one. Test new one text is successfully sent. I hopefully you guys follow all the steps that I did. Okay, so basically that's it for today for implementation. Let me recap what I basically did. So I created a new brand new project for the Swift UI and I copy and paste basically this delegate part and then also this only one line from my GitHub. Content view, I didn't change anything. So this uh, main struct application file is already also uh, only modified. So after that, I created a Firebase project and here project setting, I added a new uh, Apple apps with a bundle ID. So this bundle ID, I needed to go to the Apple developer. I needed to create identifiers with a push notification. After this, um, I needed to go to the crowd messaging in the Chrome messaging, I needed to add APN authentication key. So this was created by this key section in the Apple developer account. And then here is the one I created. So once it's created, I uploaded this and come back to the messaging. And then I created a new campaign with a notification, added, added a few stuff send test message and I added the FCM token. FCM token is basically taken by the application. So once here, you go to the project root and sign in capabilities, you need to add the push notification capabilities. After application is successfully built, you will see the token right here. So this token should be uh, add in here and then got checkbox and test. This will send the notification message to your device. So thank you for today. I hopefully you learn something. And if you're interested in like making an application with notification, please, you know, follow this. 
In this channel, I mainly focus on prototyping stuff. I really love to prototype. In this channel, I try to you know do one implementation, like core implementation, in five or 10, 10 minutes, and that will help your project as well in the future. So thank you for thank you very much for watching, and see you in the next prototyping. Happy prototyping! Bye bye.